Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Rad Kutarot and uh, in this whole video uh, you are going to see the um, weekly tarot readings August 3rd to August 9th 2020 in terms of career and in terms of relationship uh, and uh, with that being said, a few notes about the show before uh, you see the reading itself you can skip forward if you want to but um, you also, if you do like the way I read, you can participate for uh, my tarot classes uh, in there. I'm going to explain you uh, how to read tarot cards in generally uh, with the spread that I'm using in this very video. And uh, the first, the beginner's tarot class is now available uh, recorded, which means that you can take it on your own pace. And in there you're going to find 12 hours of content, explanation, I I'd like to think a profound explanation of the major arcana and how to use them in terms of career, in terms of relationship or in terms of a looking for career or looking for a relationship and as well how they stand in the spread itself. And at the end as well you're going to have a few examples how to read just only with the major arcana. That being said, the you're going to be pretty set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings uh, when you finish the course and uh, yeah if you do want as well personal reading uh, you can go to my website uh, which is listed here into the description uh, of this video and uh, there pretty much on the very front page you're gonna find a full list of my services and as well their pricing the course can be purchased from uh, the same website going into the tarot classes section so that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show all right so uh we do have cancer sun moon and as well rising on our hands for the upcoming week guys uh the first thing that we are going to have a look at that is going to be your love and relationship so let me shuffle the cards and see what you got Right, so the first card that is going to be the Four of uh, Swords. Moving next, we do have the Two of Cups, uh, followed by uh, the Knights of Pentacles, and the last one here uh, that will be the Tower. So, uh, pretty strong cards for a, a reconciliation here is what we do have. That could be seen, and actually, all of them. Now, um, what they suggest though, it is that maybe the person that comes to you with a uh, opting for a reconciliation may be too little too late for it. Because uh, uh, based on the first two, which are, once again, let me show you the cards here, Four of Swords, Two of Cups, Knight of Pentacles and the Tower. So uh, uh, you may not be certain, do you feel the same way? I mean, you may think that you do have, that you do still love that guy, you know, or that woman, whatever. But once they come about and once you meet, you may have doubts in it. And that is seen in the first two or the very least, the first two cards urges you to be pretty sure of how you feel uh, uh, according to the guy or the woman before you actually render your verdict should you go for the reconciliation or a not uh, and how do i know that it is reconciliation well the knights of pentacles uh, in that particular position usually stand stands for a jumping into the old kind of like remnants of love if you will old branch old branches of love but also gives a different how can i say uh, manifestation as well the things need to happen consistently and as well a bit slowly and also if you are to do it okay you gotta be a hundred percent certain that you do want it okay that that is not something you do for the things and giggles all right that is something that it will pretty much gonna turn your life around as the tower stands for at the end because I could say looking at the tower it is that this person is not the same person uh, you have left or have left you back in the days okay they have changed and the change is is tremendous okay it's pretty much it has nothing to do with what they were back in the days so if they were a bad guy or a bad woman now they have fixed that but it could be also a vice versa it's pretty much says that whatever what you are to find 
has nothing to do with uh, with what with, with how you imagining it to be. All right. Um, also, those who are looking for a uh, for love here and. Uh, it, it speaks more for passion guys i mean for a new love okay those that are looking for a new love just because we do have the two of cups in that particular position i don't see it happening at least not throughout this week the very least there will be shyness there will be a restriction there uh, and uh, it's not that the love is not around but it is just something is obstructing it to a manifest so it will be best if you pretty much spend the week instead of you know trying to commit with somebody new to kind of like uh, give a pretty good thought thoughts on what is is depriving you of being happy in love because only you can give the answer to that and what you're gonna come up with is going to be a life-changing thing as the tower pretty much shows now those that are having a relationship and marriage now those energies of the cards are a um pointing to well that's a bit difficult to describe what is the term in English? Uh, like humbleness, maybe, where you pretty much, despite of how much you do love each other, you don't do stupid things out of love, but instead, you know, you kind of consult yourself with uh, with your consciousness, uh, uh, with your logic as well, identifying that yeah, as much as you do love to do it, it will be detrimental to your life, to their life, to, to, to the marriage, to the relationship and etc, etc. And that will make the relationship rather transform itself now uh, or the marriage transform itself. Now it will be a bit unpleasant, okay, that particular transformation, but, ulti but ultimately at the end is going to have a, a nurturing and cleansing effect upon the, um, upon the relationship or the marriage. Pretty much take it that way. This week is going to be the week cancer where your marriage or relationship is to be tested for how much you want each other despite the circumstances around. So moving next, we do have uh, your career and uh, work. Let me shuffle the cards. Right, so the first one is going to be uh, the Four of Wands, followed by the Ace of Swords. Really? Then we do have the Page of Wands, and the last one that is going to be the Knight of uh, the Knight of Cups. Uh, frankly, that doesn't make much of a sense. Okay, let's do it the old-fashioned way. So, by the energies of the Four of Wands, uh, this week, uh, for you in terms of career, you are going to have uh, a big chances, rather like, or a big affinities here to uh, finalize or uh, important developments, okay? This is not the grand achievement, though. Those are just a milestones, but nonetheless, and an important milestones take it that way that you're going to successfully and i mean and i repeat here successfully finalize cycles of development uh, those cycles of development just to give you an example it could be successfully finalizing a plan that after that is going to um, ensure a smooth development of a project this kind of such kind of a developments and also those developments will give you a reason to celebrate for okay like having a um, a sip of a sip of wine with the co-workers celebrating you know the uh, successful establishment now that ace of sorts Wow, yeah, okay. So Ace of Swords here stands for the mental strength that is required in order to develop the thing to the very end. Now, as I mentioned, okay, this is just a 
a milestone. The work is far from done. And I'm not, I don't want to say that you don't have the necessary strength mentally to go through it. But it will, at the very least here, according to the card itself, it will take much more than, uh, than you think is going to cost you mentally to get the job done. Um, with the page of wands into the uh, positive position, uh, that is a co-worker of yours or a person that you do work with, because it could be your supervisor as well. How I want such kind of a supervisor. Well, that is a... Uh, um, uh, like a jester, you know, a guy or a woman that is constantly joking around and, and kind of making shenanigans, but also it's a, a good producer. What I mean is that they simply produce results. That is because the Page of Wands, uh, in terms of a career, they are very strong on their own accord, okay? They are very unique uh, and their ideas, although may may look kind of silly and immature and stupid in some cases, are actually worth explore, exploring because I, I, I pretty much produce results. Now, the only thing that the page doesn't like in terms of career is when it's told what to do, okay? And as it falls in that position, it's highly unlikely that people are gonna, ha are gonna be harping on you for the things you gotta uh, establish. Uh, and that could be seen as well with the four of ones is because nonetheless, you're going to be successful with your development, whatever task for development are, are given to you. But what is the best thing about a whole that, uh, about the whole energies here, it is that at the end, nothing is gonna be left on chance, okay? But the results for the grand scheme, whenever the grand scheme is to be manifested moving forward into the future, it will be completely correlating or reciprocal, if you will, to the efforts that you do give. So if you are a hard worker, a very strong results are to be achieved. And needless to say, payments and, and promotions can start falling from the sky. If you do slack, however, you may even risk to get yourself a hired, um, not hired, but fired, I'm sorry. Those that are looking for a job, for a job, what those cards here are pointing is that you're gonna find a vacated, uh, find a, 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 oh my God, vacated, I think it's called, a, a place that you can start working at, but it will require more, uh, more efforts on your behalf to be able to sustain yourself there. Uh, once again, uh, you really need to prove yourself to be a hard worker before you actually have the audacity and be eligible to demand for a more um, benefits that the company is to give you. So that being said, uh, Cancer, this was your weekly tarot readings, guys, in terms of love and relationship, hope, uh, uh, love, relationship, career and business. Uh, hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them and uh, we may see each other uh, around. Until then, bye.